Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make chili steak strips. So what I have on my counter is pretty much the ingredients that we're going to use to make an alternative take on some steak. We're going to give it flavor, spice, and kick it up a bit to where it actually has a really amazing flavor. So let's get started. With your skillet, we're going to add into it two to three tablespoons of olive oil. You want your heat up to a medium high at this point, so we want to get the temperature going up. And then we're going to add to our skillet two and a half cups of beef. Now this can be any kind of beef you want as far as steak beef, frying beef, whatever. Um, you probably could pick any type you want as long as you cut it into strips and put it in here. Um, you just basically want to have about two and a half cups worth, maybe three cups if you wanted to. There's not really a weight that you have to stick to for this. Um, you're going to add to this a half teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to mix this up to get the olive oil, the salt, and the pepper all over the steak pieces. We're just going to flip them back and forth a few times to make sure they're completely coated before we move on to the next step. Now, once they're starting to cook, we're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is going to help to form a kind of crust on the outside of the beef, and it helps with the flavor of what we're about to do because it's going to actually help everything blend together. So go ahead and stir this up, and we want to cook this until it's at least medium to well done. And then once we get it completely cooked, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the pan and set it aside before the next step. So as you can see, mine is done and it's about to be removed. This is a point where when you take the steak out, remove a lot of the grease, but you can still leave some in your pan because we're going to mix that in with the next ingredients for more flavor. So you're going to add three tablespoons of butter to your hot pan, which still should be like a medium to high. And we're going to go ahead and melt this butter as much as we can before we move on to the next step. Now, when you get your butter mostly melted, what we're going to add in is the equivalent of four cloves of garlic. Now, they could be minced, sliced, chopped up, however you want to do it. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of pepper flakes. And then again, we're going to stir this up. We're going to let it saute for just a little while because if you leave this in for about two minutes, you're going to get it completely to the point you want it to be at because you're going to start smelling that garlic and it's going to smell really great. And that's really where you want it to go. And then you're going to add to this about three fourths of a cup of green peppers, red peppers, and onions. Now, the way I did this is I got the pepper onion blend that you get out of the freezer section, and I just did three fourths of a cup. You, if you prefer more of red pepper or green pepper or whatever, you can actually just kind of change it to where there's more of one or the other. It doesn't really matter. And then after that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of chili sauce. And we're gonna get this in here and mix this all up and let all these flavors mix together and they really will taste amazing together and then you're gonna to add to this also a tablespoon of Italian seasoning this is your flavor right here this is everything because this is gonna change the taste of your beef so go ahead and stir this up make sure that it simmers for a couple minutes and then you're going to add your beef pieces back into it again. And then we're going to leave this in here and let it do its thing for about maybe four or five minutes. So everything gets incorporated, all the flavor mingles together and everything just works. And the steak and the beef is going to get coated with the chili sauce and the peppers and the onions. And it's just going to have such an amazing flavor to it. And when it's done, you can serve this over rice or however you like to do it. But this is a great dinner and it is full of flavor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is all about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.